Hi everyone. Let's provide the solution to this equation. Square root of y plus 2y equals 4. The question is how do we get the value of um, y? Let's remove this from here. So to remove that, I'm going to subtract this from both sides. So we have um, root y plus 2y. Then we have minus 2y. Then on the other hand, we have 4, then minus 2y. So if we go ahead now, we're going to have root y. 2y minus 2y is gone. So this is equal to 4 minus 2y. Now, before I proceed, subscribe to my channel so you can get access to my videos. Thank you. Okay, so you have subscribed, right? We can continue. So now the next target is to remove the square root from the left. And I can do that by squaring it. So that means that I would also square the right hand side. But you have to put this together and square it. If you square 4 separately and square 2y separately, you're going to be wrong. This, take this takes this away. So y comes down. And it's equal to 4 minus 2y into 4 minus 2y. Now some persons will be tempted to say, since this is positive, the other should be negative. Or since this is negative, the other should be positive. But that is not correct. Because it is what you have here that should appear in two places because of the square on it. So this is what you should have. Now y is... 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times minus 2y is minus 8y. Minus 2y times 4, that will be minus 8y. Minus 2y times minus 2y, that will be plus. That will be plus 4y, then squared. You know how we do it? This is y equals 16 minus 16y. Because minus 8y minus 16y. Minus 8y minus 8y is minus 16y. Then plus 4y squared. Now let us rearrange what we have. I believe I am not too fast. Okay, I hope I am not too fast. So now I will write this. 4y squared will come first. This minus 16 will follow. This y is going to meet the others on the same side. So it becomes minus y. But 16 is still with the others, so we have our plus 16. Then everything equals 0. Now, we have our 4y squared minus 17y plus 16 equals 0. So what should we do? Solve the problem. Okay, this is now a quadratic equation because of the square here and the equal sign. And... Um, also the um the variable here y now the formula is y equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now some students cannot use this formula because they can't have the formula offhand okay i think that's the most difficult thing to to do when um you want to solve a quadratic equation using the formula method. Knowing the formula is the most difficult. But then, you can get used to it by trying to use it often, right? So now, y is, what is b? Our b is minus 17. So negative, negative will turn this to positive 17. Plus or minus. Our b is still negative 17, so I'll write negative 17 negative 17 squared don't mind me this is my 17 then we have minus 4 times 1 okay by the way our a is 4 the coefficient of y squared that is 4 so i'm going to write that 4 over here then times 16 because because of c is 16 then all of this will be divided by 2 times 4 because a is 4. 
okay so our y is going to be 17 plus or minus the square root of minus 17 squared will give us positive 289 minus 4 times 4 is 16 16 times 16 is 256 divided by 2 times 4 and that is 8 the next is to subtract what we have here you know some some learners will be tempted to find the square root of 289 and then the square root of 256 but that would not be correct so let's go ahead okay so y now will be equal to 17 plus or minus 289 minus 256 will give us 33 then we divide by by 8 right so um from here now we have y to be equal to 17 plus square root of 33 over 8 or 17 minus square root of 33 over 8 but obviously both of them will not satisfy the given equation and you should know why because the given equation was not originally a quadratic equation so it is one value that should satisfy okay and for us to know the value that would satisfy let's get this in decimal form right let's get the square root of 33 Okay, so we have 17 plus 5.74, square root of 33, 5.74. So this means that our y from here is 22.74 divided by 8. Or on this side, we have 11.26 divided by 8. Okay, because we have in decimal figure now, we are going to have an approximated figure right this is approximated that's what i meant to say now um y now will be equal to this divided by this is approximately 2.84 or this divided by this is approximately 1.41 now let's see the one that will satisfy now because the given equation is square root of y right plus 2y equals what 4 so let's let's um oh obviously we know the one that should satisfy if we pick this one to satisfy you will see that it will not because we have 2y here that will be 2.84 times 2 and that's already more than the 4 so this right here cannot satisfy but then if you pick this it will definitely satisfy it will be approximately equal to 4 on the other side so our y now is approximately 1.41 okay let me make this an approximation sign so this is the value or this is the approximate value of y thank you for watching